Hello my friends, this is Wayne here once again for the Let's Play Get Gaming channel, bringing you another episode of State of Decay Breakdown. Now, the reason I've continued recording straight away is because we've got a lot to get done. We've got an infestation there that we are going to deal with straight away. Our vehicle isn't looking too good, so I need to look for another vehicle. Uh, along the way, we've got people uh, bringing home construction materials. We will use those to build our watchtower. Pretty quick smart, but we need the workshop to be built first. Uh, we've got an infirmary built now, so that is good. All of our survivors are back as we rescued Edgar Gull, the Martin Coolshirt character in the last episode. And we need to start looking for things to defend the RV with. Uh, sorry, to rebuild the RV with. Uh, so first things first, I need a new vehicle. Do we have a new vehicle anywhere at all? No. So vehicles aren't looking too uh, common in this one compared to the last one. Uh, I'm going to park up here just over the road from the ammunition shop and have pelt the shit out of this place with petrol bombs. And hopefully this will clear the infestation pretty quick smart. We've got a machine suppressor here. Level 2 shooting, not bad at all. I'm going to have a snack and then we're going to run in and finish the job. So we're going to ninja skill that son of a bitch. We've got, we've got more in here somewhere. I'm going to search quickly as well. Why the hell not? Uh, another one. Kill him. So that low slice is a bloody excellent ability. I'm not complaining about that. I should have uh, used that on Amelia Craftsman as well. Oh shit, where the fuck did all these come from? So a nin ninja ability on all of these guys. Uh, I should definitely should have uh, gave her the uh, this low slice ability. Sorry, I got distracted because uh, Zed's everywhere. I'm out of snacks. Out of stamina, sorry. Right, so we're finishing off the job. We're going to clear this infestation. Fucking die screaming. There we go. Sorted. That was sweet. Zed's white from this location. Not bad at all. Uh, let's have a quick search here because we need meds when the RV mission does ping. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to fucking disinfect it and everything all over again. Search. Anything. We're not taking that home. Uh, we'll take e eat that one there. We'll take that one with us. He needs another weapon as well. So uh, he's just got level 7 fighting. So uh, let's just see if we've unlocked any other skills. We have not. We have not. No worries though. Doesn't really matter. Uh, but he does need to... Oh, that's everything in here. Right, so let's continue on our merry quest. Chop off this guy's legs. Kill him. We've got another screamer in the distance. So we need to conserve our edged weapon. And we need, now need to head towards Marshall to find uh, some... Uh, meds. Oh, is that a taxi cab? That is brilliant. Thank you very much. Abandoned ship there. Get back into other ship. He's still running towards that vehicle. Dumbass, there's a bloater just spawned in the distance. And we've got the veterinary clinic right here. The vets is usually a good place to go for meds. So hopefully it will not di uh, disappoint us in this episode. Need to be careful of my weapon. We are pushing it on our short wacky zashi abilities. Oh, that's a feral, that's a feral, that's a feral, that's a feral, that's a feral. Right, so feral needs to die. I'm out of, oh god, crikey, 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 I'm out of stamina. Move, son, you big ugly bastard. Right, snack quickly. Ninja, ninja, ninja. Come on, Sharkody, we can do this, bro. No, we can't, no, we can't. Don't kill the Sharkody guy. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Keep mashing the B, keep mashing B. Keep mashing it, keep mashing it. Oh, fuck, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Press out repeatedly to get up. Oh, fuck, shit. He's got me again. He's got me again. This is it. This is it. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's fucking dead. You've got to be kidding me. That is insane. Fuck you. Fuck you, feral. Sharkody guy is dead. He got like half of his life left, though, but apparently three attacks is the limit. So we've just lost one of our main survivors in the Sharkody guy. That is batshit. Amelia's hurt. Edgar Gall is tired. So it's faith. Faith or nothing. You gotta have faith. Oh, I can't believe Sharkody guy just died. <sighs> that is fucking heartbreaking. Oh well. Uh, we need to radio out for new survivors. Hopefully we get a hero at some point. Uh, we haven't really got anyone else to start training up. And our vehicle's gone. And we can't uh, organise another vehicle delivery just yet. So what have we got to do? Uh, let me just check our camp. Is the workshop done? No, eight minutes. What happened? For the workshop? I thought that was five minutes to build. 
medical area upgrade to infirmary, we could do that. Uh, we've radiated it for new survivors. Cook a big meal, plus 20 max vitality. Well, no time for that now. Uh, we may as well, because uh, that takes us under the limit for fuel. And we need to upgrade to a shooting platform as soon as we've got a workshop. Construction delayed, of course it is. I need a new weapon. There's a taxi cab that we left there. Uh, so that's our <laughs> destination. We've got to get Shao Kuddy Guy's belongings, because he's got a lot of stuff in his inventory that we could use. So I'm going to have a snack and we're going to run across the way here. We've got another ship vehicle here, but we may as well use it while we are here. Just to get back to our cab. Why the hell not? Uh, these guys want a Z hunt. A trade opportunity. Oh, I can't believe Sharkody guy's dead. We were doing so well with him as well. And then that feral came out of nowhere. I think that's the first character I've actually uh, lost in the second half of the series. If you guys remember I lost as I'm driving on my bumper. Uh, I actually lost Lincoln Voss and another character. Fucking hell, what is going on here? Uh, I lost Lincoln Voss and Joe Wilkerson in the last half of the series, but we haven't lost any survivors until now. Which is bloody heartbreaking of all the people. He was build, uh, being built up to be bloody perfect. Right, so in we go. We'll get his belongings and we'll keep... We might as well get the search on while we're here. There's fucking feral still here. Right, we've still got plenty of Zeds. Luckily, we've got a leapfrog ability for Faith, which is good. Right, we need to get the fuck out of here. Get back in the cab. Because she's nearly dead now. That's the last thing we need. Two flawless characters dying in one episode. Jesus, level 9. What the fuck are you doing to me? Right, you can die. No, you can't, because apparently the game's going to do something else. And I'm going to get pulled out of the vehicle anyway. Then I'm going to get numbed on. Right, this game can go fuck itself right now. <laughs> right, die, you fucking ugly bitch. Right, in we go. We need to find the meds, if there are any meds. That would be There's fuck all left in here. We come in here for nothing, and then we lost Sharkwitty Guy's life. And I've got no doors left on my cab. But there's a garage next door, so let's at least search the garage. Because that would be good. If there is something in here, you never know. Nothing left. Now we know. Right, back in the cab. We're going to drop off Sharkwitty Guy's stuff at home. And uh, we are going to keep looking for meds now. That's our priority. We've got enough construction materials as long as soon as the RV mission pings. What we haven't got is enough fuel or meds. Actually, we have got enough meds, look. Ten meds is all we need uh, for uh, to disinfect the RV. But Amelia's hurt. Uh, Sharkity guy is dead. <laughs> I can't believe he's dead. We've got his belongings. That is terrifying and heartbreaking at the same time. Damn it, Sharkity guy. He was doing so well as well. We just unlocked that awesome new ninja ability. And then that feral fucking barrel, the feral popped out of nowhere. With a vengeance. And ate him. Shit. But we've raided out for new survivors, so hopefully we can get someone half decent. Unlocked. That would be pleasant. Uh, three. Four. And we haven't got anything else to deposit either. No melee weapon, no gun. She's got a gun again, but she's a friend on a mission. Why is she on a mission? She loves, loves hunting Zeds, does our Amelia Crassman. And we've got a Stranger in Trouble mission pinged as well. It's probably going to be for a freaking neighbour, but oh well, let's try anyway. We've got trellis, we need trellis boards for the garden, apparently. So let's search on the way. Then we will head to, in fact, fuck that, let's go straight for the Stranger in Trouble mission. We can get the trellis boards on the way back. Because if these are survivors that can come with us, that would be advantageous. Now, I know we have that feature in the game already, the ability to take survivors out with you. But as we found out in the first half of the series, that usually ends in tragedy. We lost Joel Wilkerson to that feature just by taking him out. And we've lost Sharkody Guy in this episode by controlling him. So you can imagine what it's going to be like if we actually take survivors out with us. They aren't going to last at all. There's no way they are going to last. Uh, the usual haunt for the RV is around here. So let's see if it's here. It's not. Uh, we might as well check out a few of the other haunts as well while we're on our travels all the way down into towards Marshall. Hopefully we can have a bit of calm before the storm now. Hopefully we don't have another freaking storm because uh, that one pretty much killed us off. 
We lost one of our best characters in the Shark Hoodie Guy. He was being built up to be bloody perfect. Crying shame, but what can you do? It happens. Especially at level 9. I cannot believe I can't say this enough, folks. How much level 9 has caught me off guard. Uh, I put over 15 hours grinding in level 7. And level 8 was so easy. Level 7 and level 8 was so damn easy. This one has caught me off guard completely. I did not expect this to be difficult. So I am looking forward to getting to level 10 as well. 10 and beyond should be excellent. For the simple fact, they're going to be freaking difficult. And we now need to find an extra survivor to build up. Uh, now that we've lost Shark Hoodie Guy. But at least we've got Faith. At least we've got Amelia. Uh, we're going to finish off these guys. We're going to have a snack. Head through the door. And find out who we got here. We're going to swing like there's no tomorrow. Which there won't be if we don't survive. And we're going to stand on the chair. And beat the shit out of everything. Out of anger. Revenge for Shark Hoodie Guy. Swingy, 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 swingy. So we haven't got any heroes here. But hopefully we've got someone who's half decent. Or at least as decent as Shark Hoodie Guy to take home with us. Can I just go on the record? And right, are you coming home with us or are you just one of those survivors that's going to be annoying? So yes, so it's survivors that we can take home with us. That's not bad at all. And that guy's got a cool character model. We're not going to bother taking the food, food home. We're going to just take the snacks. So he's got a cool character model. Hopefully he's half decent. Uh, I'd be happy with another reflexes survivor. Uh, because Shark would eat. He was a ninja, yes, indeed. And he looked uber cool. But... His letdown, in my opinion, was the fact that he wasn't a powerhouse and he wasn't a, pow a nimble survivor either. He didn't have reflexes. He did not have powerhouse. That was a letdown, in my opinion, considering how awesome his character model is and considering how brilliant we've built Amelia Craftsman and Faith Archer to be. Uh, it's a shame that Shark Hoodie Guy couldn't be built up to be the same in a way due to his lack of special abilities such as powerhouse and nimble. So it's a crying shame, he's dead now, but what can you do? Uh, we've got a few survivors with us. So There's a fucking bloater, I did not see that. I did not see that bloater. Uh, so we're going to head back home now. Uh, new location discovered, that would be the thicket or something. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try my best not to crash, now that we have a lack of uh, stamina. And we've got two potentially good survivors with us. So yeah, actually, it, it, when you think about it, it kind of is a blessing in disguise that Shark Hoodie Guy has died. Because, I mean, he wasn't powerhouse, he wasn't nimble. The only thing he had going for him was his cool character model. And his uh, wits, his ninja, he just started out as a ninja. But we've already got two ninjas in Faith and... Uh, sorry, Amelia. So, yeah, we're, we're doing all right. I'm not really that bothered when I think about it. I mean, he was a hero. He was he looked cool. But, yeah, he didn't really have that much going for him. Nor as much as our current survivors have got. So, hopefully, we get somebody else who's nimble or powerhouse so that we can raise them up to replace him. Uh, I'm not going to bother taking that. Nothing left in the barn. At all. Right, so, let's head back in. This guy's got a cool character model, so let's hope he's half decent. Uh, I'm not too sure... About her character model. She may be a powerhouse actually. We'll have to wait and see. We're going to take these guys home now. Uh, but we've got another barn just across the way here. Ooh. Another vehicle. That's not wrecked. In we go. Uh, if I just quickly destroy these Zeds. Uh, the workshop's done. Which means we can now upgrade our shindim platform. We can't. Because we don't have any influence. Damn it. Right, that's what we want to do as well. The trellis board for the garden. We'll do that while we've got survivors with us. Just so we are less likely to die because we don't have uh, extra hands. And we don't want to lose another survivor, especially not Faith Archer. But Faith is bloody excellent. Uh, to be honest, we haven't played as her for quite some time actually. Quite a few episodes. It's just been Shark Hoodie Guy and Edgar Cool shirts. So it's quite cool in a way that we do get to play as Faith Archer again. So yeah, I'm, I've made myself feel better about losing Shark Hoodie Guy in this episode just by the fact that he wasn't a powerhouse or nimble, so not that bothered anymore. I'm going to try and clear this area enough to the point that where we can go in and get the uh, trellis boards. But I know we've got a bloater on our tongue. I don't think I brought out a gun. So let's quickly head in and hopefully it will be uh, right in front of us. It's not going to be, is it? Whoa, Zed. Nice one, lady. Whoever the hell you are. Army bro, you shall not catch us off guard. 
That's the noise we make when we kill army bros. We've got two army bros on our town now. We do a spin attack on them. Kill you. Another spin, hopefully. No, nope, we're out of stamina. Luckily, we've got two other people watching our back as well. I'm going to pop some methadone uh, and have a snack. And then we're going to run over to the other side of the public restroom and see if we've got anything in here. Trellis bulb, please. Nope. Oh, well. Uh, so it's got to be in the middle section. I always hate foraging in these areas. That's why I never, ever do it unless I exp like specifically have to. So it's going to be in the middle section of the uh, public restroom. Just because you never know where they're going to be. And in break then, apparently, you get fucking bloaters spawning everywhere. We've got army bros that have killed our shockery guy. Such a cool looking character model, but such a lame hero when you think about it now. Made myself feel a lot better about that. Uh, so let's check out the middle section. And hopefully the trellis bulb will be here. Nice. Found nothing. Right, so it's not. Which means, where else could it be? Did I actually find it? Apparently I found that. Hmm, did I? I don't remember seeing that ping. I must have missed it when I was chatting shit. <laughs> I do that a lot. Ninja kick! I forgot we had that skill. So we've got Daniela and Dominic. Get in, you bastards, and one of you better be good. On a plus note, we've got seven survivors, so this will be nine. Uh, nine survivors means that we can... Uh, we're one more away from being able to move into Snyder's. I may actually move in this episode, uh, series, to be honest. Uh, series? In this freaking level. Uh, just for the fact that the church sucks. The church sucks. It's draining our supply so quickly, so hopefully the RV pings quickly. So we can start building it straight away. Apparently I found the trellis boards. I didn't see that ping. Maybe it's just me being dumb. Let's hope these survivors are good. Please have a reflex or powerhouse. Oh, we've already got a powerhouse in this guy as well. That's interesting. Daniela Polanco is sick. And we've got Dominic Kolker. He's a researcher. And she's a powerhouse. I knew she was a powerhouse. I had the feeling. Uh, but this guy's pretty shit. Even though he has a cool character model. Uh, she's gone already. She, what the hell? Really? Right, so we've got Faith Archer on our tail. It's probably a good time to start leveling up this guy. Because he can be a good ninja as well. But first things first, we're going to stick with Faith Archer just for now. Just for now. So that we can uh, start looking for the RV. Because that mission hasn't pinged yet. Oh, that's what I was going to do here. Uh, let's switch out see where he's got Axe, Wakizashi. She's on a mission. Uh, she's at home. Right, so we can uh, head back in and deposit this stuff. That's what I was just going to do. Uh, start upgrading. And then Lily beat me to it. She had to be one of those awkward bitches that's like, Oh, Wayne, you need to repair things. Shut up, Lily. So I'm not putting that in the fucking stash. You can keep that. Right, 85. Uh, let's switch back out to Faith Archer. Now we can upgrade at last to the shooting platform. Which will advance our radius a little bit. Where have we got here? Upgrade to the infirmary which costs 25. There's not really much point in that to be honest. Because uh, I'm not really bothered if she dies. Uh, we're not friends with her. Uh, so if she does die. Uh, we can unlock the killer. I'm not that bothered about heroes. Because heroes always have flaws. Uh, whereas the survivors that we can build up ourselves. Usually don't. Right so our next destination is. Community member found. I don't care. Uh, I'm going to head down into uh, this area here. Because there's usually fuel in this this part. Or this part, wherever the hell I am. Uh, that's the Grange. That's the area I need. And the RV spawned up here in the last episode. So let's try that again. Who knows, we may get lucky for once. Hopefully, the difficulty spike. Uh, hopefully, we've seen the last... Is that fuel? Is that fuel right by our camp? That would be awesome if it is. Nope, empty. Damn it, son of a arg! Damn it, son of an arg. That's a thing, folks. So this episode has really caught me off guard with the difficulty. This level has really caught me off guard with the difficulty. So yeah, hopefully I'm never moving to the fucking church again. I'm never moving it. Okay, fair enough. Lily's beat us to it again. There's a broken down RV just outside of town. Looks like. Oh, Lily. Way better shape than most of the other big vehicles that are right, come on, let's check it out, let's check it out. It yep, Lily, give me the fucking mission already. Where is it, where is it? It's all the way over there. Right. Looks like we are 
Good for the duration, Fog. Zed Hunter's expired. Ezekiel Harden. Uh, that's just one of those random survivors uh, that we don't really need. I think in the next episode, we go to the Savini residence for definite now. The only reason we moved in... Ooh, is that better than mine? No, it's not. The only reason we moved into the church in the first place in this episode is due to the fact that we got basically bullied into joining, into getting into the church. Just like religious people, bullied me into the church. I'm an atheist, by the way, if that wasn't obvious. So we are looking for the RV now. Uh, once we've found it, we will start fixing it up. I don't want to be in level 9 any longer than I have to be. How long until new survivors? Four minutes to new survivors. Uh, we're upgrading the workshop. We've got a six survivor who we can hopefully get dead so we can uh, unlock the... There's a fucking barrel. Barrel that killed Sharkody guy. You little prick. Right, let's make sure he's good and dead. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Right, good to go. We are good to go. How many meds? We've still got ten meds. Uh, we've got one fuel, so I need plenty of fuel before we can start. Uh, loading up the RV with fuel. Uh, sorry, I just took a sip of coffee. As you guys probably know, I like my coffee. Uh, we should have enough construction materials to go ahead and start getting ready straight away. But the meds is what we need first, because we don't want that bitch to uh, heal. So we need to spend the meds, we need to disinfect the RV straight away, which will leave us down to zero meds. Eat my door, you fat fuck. God damn juggernauts. Nearly killed Amelia Craftsman in the last uh, last breakdown level. And we just killed... We just got vengeance in the same episode on Beryl the Feral. Right, so now straight away we need to disinfect the RV. Why well, can't we? 200 influence we need. The RV's gas tank is empty. Can we get any fuel from up here while we're here? Two flat tyres, so the RV needs everything done to it. Let's see what we've got in here, just before we do a run. Military stash. We'll take a gun for some influence, we'll eat one of those, we'll take these. In case of military ammunition. Fuck yeah! That was sweet. Oh god, that wasn't so sweet. Fucking... Just leave me alone, all I want to do is just do a little bit of foraging on my own. Ninja kick of destiny. Eat my axe, you fat fox. And you, you skinny wanker. Right, there you are. I dare you to get up. Fucking kick you right in the bollocks. Now you're dead. Right, good. Good. This is good. Things are good now. Now, I could just uh, call out for scavengers for that one, but that is a fucking death wish. Call out for scavenger all the way over here. So I'm going to drop off these supplies at home. Uh, I'm going to get some influence. And then we are going to spend these meds and disinfect the RV before that bitch starts to use them and get better. We don't want her to get better anymore, no, no, no. We just want her to die so we can unlock the killer, finish the challenges, take Alan Goodnison with us. Even though he's, he's a hero and he's not going to be very good, uh, that's the uh, the completionist in me is telling me you need to unlock Alan Goodnison just for the sake of it. So we're going to just lock on there and then head all the way back here. We've got a cab that's in better condition than our vehicle. We've got a, a store here as well. So I'm going to try and look for some fuel here. Again, I know I said it's a death wish uh, to forage... Oh, fuck all in here anyway. Apparently, this, it, this is a fuel outpost, so where the hell's the fuel? The hell's the fuel, bros? God, fucking barrel's back again! And then I turned into an angry old lady slash Ricky Gervais. Right, so I'm going to throw... Oh, God damn, I'm just going to get in my car and go. I'm not wasting any time, and now I've lost up those uh, materials. I'm not going to be killed by Beryl again. God damn it, Beryl. Right, uh, there's got to be fuel here somewhere. It's labelled as a fuel outpost, so where the fuck is the fuel? Where's that barrel? There's the barrel. Nope, that's just a regular one. He's in there. There he is, jumping about like a fucking lemon. Wherever lemons do. I just assume that lemons jump about. That's a fable reference, uh, by the way, folks. Uh, are you just standing about like a lemon? Yeah, that's the one. You guys remember that? Who loves Fable? I love Fable. I'm so happy we get Fable Anniversary and the barrel's dead. And let's hope we, hopefully we can get some fuel from somewhere around here. I'm just going to climb these stairs. Maybe the fuel canister's is on the roof. I don't know why I'm trying to convince myself here, but it's not on the roof, is it? What the hell? I've never been up here. Well, you find new things every day, don't you? That's cool. Very cool indeed. But there's still no fuel up here either. Yeah, damn it, set of it. Oh, group of survivors on the run. Here's the location. Contacted a new group of survivors. So I need to head home 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. I fell off a roof. Kill this guy. Leapfrog. Roly poly. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, 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 kill. Death murder. Right, I blew up a firebomb for some reason. Now this cab is here and it's free for me to go. So I'm going to eat a snack so I can run there quicker. I'm going to take this with me. Fuck you, Beryl. You're dead. That is a fuel out post, but I can't find fuel. So bollocks to it. Let's just go. We'll find fuel elsewhere. Damn it, Lily. You're a bitch. I don't know why Lily just took the blood, the brunt of my abuse. Because she didn't do anything wrong. But what I'm going to do quickly is... Uh, radio out for fuel. Did you see Ghost of Alan Gunderson again? Split second Ghost of Alan Gunderson. Freaky little bastard. Right, 25 minutes in, folks. Uh, we need to take this stuff home. We need to... Uh, fix up the RV. So what I'm going to do is end this episode now. When we return, I will be at home. We will be uh, fucking well on our way to success. This has been a chaotic episode. I am angry. I need a coffee. I need water and a beer, but I'm not drinking because as you guys know, as you found out on Twitter, I am saving up for an Xbox One. So no booze for me until I can afford an Xbox One. God damn it, kicking habits. And I like a drink as well. It's tasty. Especially when you're playing video games as well. Call me a child of the 90s, which I am, for no reason. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're going to head home, folks, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this chaotic, insane episode where we lost one of our favourite survivors in the Charcuty Guy. But we uh, came to terms with it because he was flawed anyway. He didn't have reflexes or powerhouse. All the survivors that we have are pretty much going to be have one of those abilities. So I shall see you in the next one, my friends. Goodbye.